Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have another very elegant problem for you guys today. Uh, this problem was actually on the IMO 2018 exam. Um, so for those of you that don't know, um, the IMO, it's the International Math Olympiad. So um, probably the world's largest or most famous math Olympiad. Um, and each country, a bunch of countries at first propose problems um, and then they get filtered down into a list of about um, maybe 60-ish um, that are called the IMO shortlist. And then those problems then get filtered down to the six that are ultimately put on the exam. Um, so this problem actually was on the exam. And I know a lot of people, um, that's kind of the draw to this channel is that they want to see the IMO problems because they're some of the most beautiful problems you'll see. Um, so here's one of them. So if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so now I'm gonna go over the solution. Um, so we have uh, gamma is the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Um, D and E are any points on AB and AC such that AB is equal to AE. Uh, the perpendicular bisectors of BB and CE meet arc AB at F and AC at G. And we want to show that DE and FG are either parallel or they're the same line. So I'm going to consider if they're the same line, I'm just going to call that parallel. Um, okay, so how do we get started here? So I had kind of a unique approach to this problem. I think there was only one other person on the Art of Problem Solving Forum that kind of thought of it in a similar way to me. But this configuration, it reminded me a lot of Archimedes' theorem. Um, so that's video nine, number nine on my channel. Um, so first I'm going to do the construction and then I'm going to tell you why it's, it's um, like Archimedes' theorem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a point I on the circle so that BI is equal to AD. Um, so, or, or actually I'll call it H. So, so BH is equal to AD and CI is equal to AE. Now, why did I do that? Um, so if you look at video nine on my channel, um, basically we can see that the sum of segments BH and BM is equal to segment AM. Uh, and that's because we, we defined H to be so that uh, AD is equal to BH. So I'm actually gonna write out the words here. So we constructed H and I so that BH is equal to AD, and CI is equal to AE. And of course, AD is equal to AE. Um, so basically, since, um, since BM is equal to MD and BH is equal to AD, uh, we have that um, HB plus BM is equal to MA. So Archimedes' theorem says that if we took the midpoint of arc AH and we dropped the perpendicular to side AB, then we'd have that quality. BH plus BM would be um, AM. So by the converse of it, it turns out that um, F um, actually has to be the midpoint of arc AH. Um, so I'm going to write that out. Um, so by the converse of Archimedes' theorem, so this should say problem nine, not problem 29. Um, F is the midpoint of arc AH, and G is the midpoint of arc AI. So Archimedes theorem, I feel like it's not used super often, but I feel like this is a really nice example of a problem where you could use it. And like I mentioned, there were a lot of other approaches that didn't use Archimedes theorem, but I thought this was just a really interesting application of it. Okay. So how can we leverage that, that F is the midpoint of arc AH and G is the midpoint of arc AI? Um, so I'm going to get to that later, but first, um, note that um, since, for first I'm going to let a point be the midpoint of arc BC. So obviously the midpoint of arc BC uh, lies on the angle bisector of, of uh, BAC. So, uh, I'm going to draw, so J is the midpoint of arc BC, and, and, and therefore since arcs BJ and JC are equal, um, angle BAJ is equal to angle CAJ, so it's an angle bisector. Um, and and not, not only that, um, since AD is equal to AE, 
and AJ is an angle bisector, uh, we have to have AJ is perpendicular to DE. Okay. Um, so where do we go from here? So we want to show that DE and FG are parallel. We've shown that DE is perpendicular to AJ. If we can show FG is also perpendicular to AJ, then that would get us to where we want. Uh, so how do we do that? So I'm going to use a very similar approach to my last video that I posted. Um, so I'm going to draw in segment FG. Actually, before I get to that, um, I'm going to note one thing. So uh, we have a lot of symmetry here. So, so BH is equal to AD is equal to AE is equal to CI. So arc BH and arc CI are equal. And then also, like I said, I define J to be the midpoint of arc BC. So uh, arc BJ is equal to arc JC. And so therefore, it's easy to see that um, arc JH has to equal arc JI. And here's just the algebra to prove it. But arc JH is arc BJ minus arc BH. And arc BJ is equal to arc CJ. Arc BH is equal to arc CI. That's because uh, BH is equal to CI. And so the difference, which is JI, has to equal JH. So that's easy to see by symmetry. Okay. So I'm going to draw in segment FG, and I'm going to let it intersect AJ at a point K. Um, and like in my last video, I'm going to use the fact that the angle between two chords of a circle is half the sum of the intercepted arcs. Okay, so we know that DE is perpendicular to AJ. We want to show that FG is perpendicular to AJ. So we want to show that angle AKF is 90 degrees. Um, so I'm going to use that theorem that says that angle AKF, it's the angle between these two chords, and it has to be half the sum of the two intercepted arcs. Okay, so we have angle AKF is half of arc AF plus GJ, because those are the two intercepted arcs. Um, and now, um, from Archimedes' theorem, F was the midpoint of arc A AH. So, so A F, arc AF has to equal arc FH. So I'm going to write that out. So we can replace arc AF with arc FH. Um, so we have half of arc FH plus arc uh, GJ. Um, but we can split arc GJ up into arc GI and IJ. And I'm kind of doing this because I want to use the fact that arc Ji is equal to arc Jh. So I'm going to split Gj up into those two arcs. Uh, so arc Gi plus arc Ij. And uh, we said before that arc Ij, is, which is Ji, is equal to arc Jh. So we can also substitute that. Um, and the reason why we're doing that is because well, first of all, we, we just want to use that fact, but also we can combine FH and HJ. Um, so FH plus HJ is just arc FJ. Um, and then also um, arc GI. Well, by Archimedes theorem, G is the midpoint of arc AI. So arc GI actually has to equal arc uh, AG. So I'm going to do both of those. And I'm, I'm going to write it out to the right side here just because I'm running out of room. Um, but so arc FH plus arc HJ is arc FJ. And arc GI is equal to arc GA by the converse of Archimedes theorem. But this is really interesting because so now we have this is half of arc FJ plus arc GA. And by the, the theorem I mentioned before, that's that's the angle between chords AJ and FG. So, so that's, that's angle AKG um, is half the sum of those two intercepted arcs. So we're using that theorem both forwards and backwards. Um, so that has to equal angle AKG. Uh, so after all this work with the arcs um, and utilizing symmetry a bunch of times, we have that angle AKF is equal to angle AKG. But obviously, those angles have to add up to 180 because they're on the same line. So they both have to be right angles. Um, so I wrote that out here. Angle AKF plus angle AKG is 180 degrees. And so therefore, they both have to be 
uh, 90 degrees because they're equal to each other. Um, so that's kind of interesting how, how I just threw a bunch of algebra and symmetry got them to be equal like this. But anyways, the point is, if, if angle AKF and AKG are 90, then that means AJ is perpendicular to FG, but AJ is also perpendicular to DE, so therefore DE has to be parallel to FG, and that solves the problem. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, this is probably an easier IMO geometry problem. It was only the first problem on the exam, and they're in order of difficulty. Um, so if you can solve this, um, it's a it's a good start because all IMO problems are, are not that easy, um, but it wasn't the hardest IMO problem. So um, thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.